In this question, we have 555.89 plus 33.3. Now, as we can see, this is our first example when dealing with decimals. So we're going to start it off the same way by writing our first number of 555.89 on top of our setup. So it's going to look like 555.89. And then we write our second number on the bottom. But we have to make sure that our decimals line up. So you can write the decimal first, right below our first decimal, and then carry on with that. Our 33 is before the decimal, and then our 0.3 is after the decimal. And then we add our addition sign out front, and then add our line. If you want, you can add a zero right after this three to make sure that all of our numbers line up, or you can just leave it empty how it was. It doesn't matter whatever way you feel comfortable with. So now let's start our question. We first start with the far right, so in this case, it's this 9. We have 9 plus nothing, so we're just going to write our 9 directly below it in our answer. And then we move on to 8 plus 3 to give us 11, but 11 is a two-digit number, so we have to break the 11 apart. Our second one in the 11 goes down here, and then our first one gets carried up to the next row. Now we have our decimal. We always carry our decimal down directly below, so we have our decimal right there. And then we move on to 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3 gives us 8, and then 8 plus the one we carried gives us 9. So we bring our 9 down here. And next we move on to this 5 plus 3, which gives us 8. So we bring the 8 right down below here. And then we're left with this 5 plus nothing, which just leaves us with 5. So our final answer is 589.19. So 555.89 plus 33.3 gives us 589.19.